The American alligator, of course, is uh, uh, El Lagarto, it's called, which is Spanish for big lizard, um, is uh, always a, a popular uh, tourist attraction for a lot of people to come here. Uh, they're always coming to the visitor center asking where can we see an alligator. Uh, they thrive in and around the lake waters. They do uh, get into Lake Waccamaw here. Uh, it's on occasion that you'll see them in Lake Waccamaw, but the abundance of American alligators are in the creeks and the canals that surround uh, in and around Lake Waccamaw. We encourage folks that when you come to see the American alligator, uh, not to feed the alligators. Uh, we definitely uh, want to leave wildlife uh, alone, especially uh, American alligators. If they are fed, then we have to look at potentially relocating the species away from the area. Alligators, if they are fed, will then kind of associate you as a food source. So we encourage people that, um, you know, when, when you feed wildlife, we want to keep wildlife wild. That's why they're called wildlife. Uh, if you start to take them out of their norm of habitat, then they're encouraged. You might have an alligator that shows up on your front doorstep or close to your property. And at that point, we would have to uh, call in a Wildlife Resources Commission to assist us with a relocation of that animal. They're a beautiful animal to watch, uh, but you don't want to have to put your hands on one if absolutely necessary. They are very powerful animals in and out of the water. They're not slow on the land. They actually can sprint up to a short distance of uh, 25, 30 miles an hour. So um, you have to be extremely careful with alligators, especially during the months of May and June uh, when the younglings are hatched. Uh, you will hear a very distinct sound, and those are uh, the young ones that are down in the water. People get close to the water's edge and want to view a baby alligator, but uh, you have to be careful because mama alligator is very close by and she can be very protective of the young. We encourage outreach and education again to the general public to say, uh, leave alligators alone. We also encourage people that if you like to feed the ducks on your property, just be aware that you might have an alligator that's in close proximity. Uh, and he will remain in that location. So uh, we kind of discourage people from, from feeding the waterfowl, uh, but definitely don't feed the alligators in general. They're very hard uh, species to, uh, to catch, um, and it is, a, it is a dangerous animal. They're very powerful, and uh, they need to be respected.